Hi guys, let's take a look at a few characters that we can recreate in DC Universe Online now that we have access to four colors. The first one we're looking at is the Space Ghost. Holy crap, I loved this character as a kid. And previously we had to make some sort of compromise, uh, like uh, the cape would probably have to be red or, or the yellow would have to be white or something like that. Now we have four colors that allows us to recreate a pretty good approximation of the Space Ghost. And we can recreate that at character creation. So the V slimline mask, the chevron chest, the chevron belt, the banded gloves, the reverse slimline the pants, and the rounded cape, all of that is available at character creation. The only thing we don't have access to is an emblem, but there's no emblem that actually really works for that character. So use any emblem you like. Here I went with the, the Justice League emblem and recreated the Space Ghost. The second character I recreated is Birdman. Holy crap, I loved this character as well. And uh, you can pretty much recreate that look at character creation. Uh, the exception to that is the hawk wing. Uh, I went with the hawk wing, but you can use at character creation the small bird wings. Uh, the only distinction is that the wings are a little smaller, I think. And the mask. I couldn't find a proper a proper mask for, our, for the Birdman character, so I went with the Huntress mask. But if you use uh, maybe the, the slimline mask uh, at character creation, or a half slimline, I never, I never, I'm never sure which one, it could kind of work uh, still. And again, now that we have access to four colors, we can actually use all the color palette that the character actually has. But uh, if we had only three colors, I guess we could cheat a bit. But now that we have four colors, we don't have to cheat. The next character is called the Blue Falcon. Uh, it's pretty easy to recreate that look at character creation. The only exception to that is the, the helmet. Although, I probably should have gone with the Future Cop helmet. So if you if you use the future cop helmet, then you can pretty much recreate that look, the whole look at character creation. Uh, although there's no helmet that really looks like what the, the the blue falcon actually uses. So whether you use this helmet that I'm using or the future cop helmet, well, what really sells the idea of the character is more or less the, the the rest of the costume and the color palette. That that's pretty much how you can tell that this is the blue falcon. And last, we have the Mighty Mitor. Holy crap, I loved this character as a kid. Uh, obviously, there's no helmet in this universe online to properly recreate the Mighty Mitor. So I went with the helmet that I could find that had the biggest horn possible. And I used a slimline mask underneath to sell the idea that this is the Mighty Mitor. So essentially, the big horns, the, 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 the fur cape that's a bit shredded, the, the loincloth, and obviously the color palette all works to give the the impression that this is my tour. Uh, so we don't, it doesn't look exactly like my tour, but it's close enough that we do get the impression that this is the mighty my tour character. There's enough elements to sell the idea that this is my tour. So these are a few characters that I really enjoyed as a kid. Uh, so I took the opportunity to try and recreate their looks for DC Universe Online. And now that we have the four color palette, it's much easier to recreate those characters. So that's pretty, pretty much it for now. So thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye-bye.